Well, Thursday marks an in-person return for the D.C. Shorts International Film Festival. Works by D.C. filmmakers and projects from around the world will be on the silver screen. Tommy McFly has a preview in the scene. Well, we champion short filmmaking, and we like to say we keep it short, keep it real. And for a short film fest, the list is long. You have 90-something films? Oh, man. Let me let me read you the stats because it's impressive. Okay. We have 94 He's got films. numbers. From here we 20, go. <laughs> numbers right here. 94 films from 29 countries from six continents, okay? 77 of those films will be screened live at the Alamo. <laughs> what does DC Shorts define as a short film? What's the length? Well, that's the thing. Like... Y- Feature films, of course, are 90 minutes and above. So a lot of them are just a few minutes long. This goes back to why I fell in love with uh, short films in the first place, because it's really challenging to get that story arc, you know, completed. And that there, there's a there's a skill and um, within that art form. And it, it's really interesting to see people's interpretations of how to achieve that. Starting Thursday and celebrating 19 years, the DC Shorts International Film Festival will take over the Alamo Draft House in Northeast. Comedy, drama, thrillers, crime, documentary, animation, something for everyone in a short period of time. You know, from the story uh, telling uh, part of it, it it's, it's been fascinating just to see the, the different interpretations. Of short films. So longer than an Instagram reel, but shorter than 90 minutes. That's what we're yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Look, you know, we, a lot of the short form content is very popular right now, mm-hmm. right? So you know, if you have a, you know, a short attention span, we're definitely the festival for you. With the scene, Tommy McFly, News 4.